Hey guys, Balkan Architect here, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create this cool looking suspended stair design in Revit. Now, I particularly like this design because the structural elements or these lines that are actually holding the stair in place are doubling as stair railing. So you're using one element for two functions, and I think that's quite cool. And I've already done a bunch of tutorials on stairs so far, so if you want to check out any of these, Revit stair tutorials, check out the links in the description. And before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot, and if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day. Okay, so here I am in Revit, and let's get started. I'm going to be using the architectural template, and first I like to set the units, and for this project I'm going to be using centimeters. And now let's get started. First I'm going to go into South Elevation to set the levels. And as you can see the level 2 is at 400 now. I'm just going to make that a bit smaller. Let's try 350 and go apply. Okay, this is this is a bit better for me. And now let's go into level 1. Now we need to create our staircase. So I'm just going to go here to stair command. So just architectural tab, stair command. There isn't a shortcut unfortunately. And here for the type of stair, I'm going to be using basically this industrial assembly stair. And now I'm going to just set the run width to 120. That's for residential buildings, that's quite all right. And now you need to look here into the dimensions. So for the designer number of steps, you've got 20. The actual riser height is 17.5 and the tread depth is 28. Okay, so the tread depth, I can keep that, but for the riser height, you can see this 17.5. Our suspended stair doesn't really have the first riser. It kind of starts from the second riser because that's why it's suspended. So we're just going to offset from ground this 17.5 dimension. So here, for the base offset, just type in 17.5. Go apply, and now let's start creating our stair. So just two clicks, that's enough. And now you go into 3D to see what that looks like. Okay, so this is our assembly industrial stair in Revit. Now, this doesn't really look nice, and I want to have kind of a clean zigzag, probably aluminum line. And how do you achieve this? So first you need to go here into edit type and we need to eliminate these here support elements or structural elements because this is a suspended stair so we don't really need this. The suspension will do the job. So here just find supports and for the right support you just open up this drop menu and you find none. And for the left support you do the same, none, you go apply. And now if we move this out of the way you can see they are gone. Now, if I just go OK, you can see these are kind of, the actual treads are thick and the risers are thin, and I want everything to be the same thickness. I want it to look like a single folded sheet of metal. So I'm just going to go here to edit type again, and you find this run type, and you click here and you open up this new type properties menu, and here for the tread, you can see tread thickness is at 5 centimeters, and I'm going to drop that to 0.8 centimeters. And for the riser thickness, I'm going to drop that to 0.8 as well. So it's just a thin sheet of metal. And here for the tread material, I'm going to make it some nice looking material. So I'm going to go here to the here to scroll down and let's find some aluminum, but some colored aluminum. So I'm going to be using this blue aluminum. Go apply, OK. And now you just select this, you double click. To select everything, you go Control C and you go here Control V to paste element for the riser material as well. And now you go Apply, OK, Apply, OK, and you get this. And you just go Finish, and of course you get the railing which you need to delete because we don't want this railing, so you just select it, delete it, select it, delete it. And now let's add some floors because we don't have floors and we need to see is the stair really suspended in air. So I'm just going to go here to level 1 and go into floor, rectangle, and let's just create some floor like, like this. Okay, that looks fine. Just finish, go into 3D, and as you can see our stair is kind of suspended, it's floating in air. 
and if I go here to realistic you can see it's blue aluminum and I'm just going to select this floor and let's change the material to something white so let's just type in white yeah let's use this gypsum wallboard okay apply okay and we're finished now we need to kinda copy this upward because we want to have this floor upstairs and we need some floor to suspend our stair from so I'm just going to go here to copy paste align to selected levels select level 2 and here we have it now let's go to level 2 and as you can see we can't really see our stair so I'm just going to select it go edit boundary now we can see it and now I'm going to choose a rectangle with an offset of 4 centimeters and here I am just going to create like so a rectangle hit the space bar to make it go inside and then here I can just extend it all the way to the end and here all the way to the end but here we have this overlap so the floor is kinda going to be going over the stair so we have basically a space where we can put our cables that are suspending the stair in air so you just hit here finish and this is what you get and I just like to create a section like this here and I'm going to show you why now. When you go into 3D you can see here we have some ugly overlapping things so if I go into my new section and I zoom in here you can see this is kinda where this floor ends and this is where the stair ends so they're kinda overlapping so I just like to use the move command to move the stair like so and now if we go into 3D yeah that looks a lot better but now if we go in let's go into our section that's fine if we go into our section we can see here a couple of problems we have first this round part over here that we don't want so you can get rid of this just by selecting the stair going into edit type selecting this riser thread material and finding here nosing so nosing profile open this drop menu up and go default apply ok apply OK and now if we look you see everything looks straight and elegant but here when we finish we have this height over here but we don't have the actual thread the first step thread so we need to model this in place so I'm just going to go here to component model in place go generic model OK go OK and now we need to model it so go create extrusion you go pick a plane and you select this plane over here uh, just a second okay we're we're in a section so we can select it but we go if we go into south elevation zoom in go extrusion pick a plane now it's going to be easier okay so we can select it now you go rectangle and you start from this point over here to this point over here you select this you go to move you select this point you unconstrain it and you kinda place it over there okay so we have our first thread and for the material just open this up and find your blue aluminum material here it is go OK and you finish it off now if we go into level 1 this looks kinda like this and we need to kinda extend it like so so it's where the stair is and if we go into 3D yeah that looks a lot better now but we're in a family model in place in place family right now so let's create our suspension cables that also double as the railing so how do you do that so you go into level 1 or perhaps even better level 2 and here we can see what we have here and I'm just going to go here to wireframe and now we can see everything better so this is our overlap over here so you just go here to create extrusion and you set the work plane to level 1 go OK you choose a circle and first I'm just going to create a line like this and then use a circle just to place it in the middle and let's make this circle even thinner let's go 0.25 OK and here's our first step so we need to kinda move it all the way to the first step so you place it there and now you start copying it so you select it you go multiple and let's try I don't know 10 centimeters then again 10 then again 10 
10 and once you have a bunch you can select all of these go copy select the center of this circle go over here you do this a couple of times now you have even more now you can select all of these go copy place them there and just do this a couple of more times okay one more time and there you go so let's delete all of these and now you select all of these elements and you copy them down so you just go copy okay you just go copy and you just kinda move them down so let's select this line and copy them here okay so once this is finished you just go into 3D to see what this looks like you go finish and you get something that looks like this now we're going to go into south elevation and just extend all of this to the top but as you can see now this is going all the way to the ground now if you want it to look like this that's okay then just leave it as is but if you don't want that you need to cut this so I'm just going to go here to create void void extrusion pick a plane and then I'm just going to pick this plane over here and then I'm just going to start creating some line work so just create a zigzag line like this that's going on the bottom side of the stair perhaps select it like this go copy multiple and you just kinda paste it here and just go all the way up and copy it up so you just go all the way up and let's just move this in place yeah and once you're here you just need to close this line over here so we're creating just a void because we want to cut this all off so you just go here finish and you just go finish void you go into level one and you kinda extend it like so you go into 3d and this is what you get so as you can see we don't see these lines anymore so you just go finish and let's create a camera view to see our stair so let's go into level one create a camera view and there you go okay so this is how you create a suspended staircase in Revit thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials please leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day